Hey, how's it going? DeAndre Jones here. Today we're going to go over creativity and flow. I kind of feel like they go hand in hand because, you know, when you work on certain movements, you want to, you know, be creative so you stand out, but you also want all your movements to flow together seamlessly, creating flow, creating that illusion that you're like water going through obstacles and stuff like that. And I just want to give a couple of tips on making your flow better or a couple of tips of just getting started if you have no idea how to begin. Okay, my first tip as it pertains to creativity is just not to think so much. It's super easy to like go up to like a couple obstacles, know you want to do a line and then just get frustrated because you can't think of anything that you feel is cool enough to be in a video or cool enough to just to like to do or whatever. But um, the biggest advice I would have is just not to think too much. Usually when I come up on some obstacles and I know I want to come up with a line, I just play around, um, not even recording or anything. I just like just jump around, just pretend like uh, nothing even matters and I'm just like jumping in between the obstacles and see what I come up from there. From that moment I start piecing certain things that work very well together and then I come up with a line. Um, another tip is just maybe to play add-on either with yourself or with a partner. Um, if you don't know what that game is you basically you just do one movement and then your partner or your friend or whatever they do that same movement and then they add on their own movement to it and you just keep doing that in a line. You can also do that with yourself you know just do one movement go back do one movement add another movement and then just like slowly start to build up something that's really cool and really like visually appealing and fantastic to see. Add-on is a particularly fun game because it also is also a challenge, you know. Your friend might be able to think of different movements that you didn't quite think and like you're kind of just combining, you know, combining minds to create something and it's really really cool and it's also really challenging. Also when you're playing with yourself, it's really easy to come up on a challenge that you find difficult in order to link two moves together. It might be harder than what you first thought it would be and something you have to work on. So, I really suggest, you know, um, really working on add-on and just like and just having fun really because that's the best way to come up with anything creative. My next tip would be as you create those lines and you start to create those movements it is to minimize unnecessary steps and that is a big issue that you see with a lot of people their steps are choppy you know they have that little stutter step and it breaks the fluidity of the movement so you just want to start taking out unnecessary steps and unnecessary like uh, measurements that that you don't necessarily need to, to do the movement. You just wanna focus on doing the movement and connecting it as fluid as possible. Those are the best steps if you wanna start creating, you know, beautiful lines and also making them fluid, you know? So I want everyone to go out today, come up with a line, either play add-on, bring a friend with you, or just like, try not to think so much and just move through your space creatively. And I know, I, I can guarantee you're gonna come up with something amazing. Um, if you happen to film it, email it to me. I'll put my email in the description. That'd be really cool to see. And uh, let me know what you like to see in the next tutorial. Um, see you guys next Wednesday. We'll re cover up the backflip series again. We're going to work on connecting our back handsprings. Also adding the round off to that as well. So round off back handspring and then learning how to connect them later after. So um, click the link down below. If you're more interested in uh, checking out tutorials from me, it'll take you to my website. And uh, train hard, be safe. See you next Wednesday.